What's going on guys, Nick Foy here from AskNickFoy.com and in this video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to build a link using the Google URL link builder and what it's gonna allow you to do is you're gonna be able to track different people and where they're coming from. So it's like a custom link that Google allows you to set up and then you can go into your Google Analytics and you'll be able to track all the different people that click that link and you'll be able to know where they came from. So one example use for this would be like Facebook ads. So right now on my website for my golf brand, I'm running uh, an ad on Facebook. So what we do is we go in, we create this link, and then we paste this link into the Facebook ad so that when people click it on Facebook, it takes them to whatever page we want them to go to, but it adds a little extra code at the end of the link so that when I go into Google Analytics, I can see not only does it say Facebook is where they came from, but it tells me the specific ad that they came from. Or if I was using this in email marketing, I could set up custom links for every single email that I send out to my email list. And then from there, I could go into my Google Analytics and I would be able to track, you know, which emails are actually getting clicked. You know, if somebody came to my store page and bought one of my products, I could go back to the referral source where they came from and I could see that it was, you know, email number 10 or email number four. If I set it up that way, that way I know that email had a, an effect on my subscribers and caused them to take action, you know, like going to my store and buying a product of mine. So that's a little bit about why we use the Google URL link builder. It's to be able to set up custom campaigns to track different goals that you're setting up. So a lot of times it has to do with ads or email marketing, some form of marketing that you're trying to track the results in order to make decisions that are gonna help your business. So by knowing your analytics and looking at the data, you can make smarter decisions. So what we're gonna do now is hop over here onto my computer screen and I'm gonna show you the quick tutorial of how to get this set up and how to look at the data in Google Analytics. All right, so first what you're gonna to need to do is type in Google URL Builder and it's the number one result that comes up here called Campaign URL Builder. And we're gonna go ahead and open that up and it's gonna look like this. So we've got the Google Analytics logo up here. You know you're in the right spot, Campaign URL Builder. So when you come down here, you're gonna see these different boxes. So there's four main boxes right here that you're gonna to need to enter information into. You can also use these other two, but I will not be using those today. So first off, what website URL do you want your visitors to go to? So again, if I was sending them you know, to my store page, it would be golfpracticeguides.com slash shop. So that's gonna send them over to my store page. Now campaign source, so for example, if I was running a Facebook ad, I would write Facebook and then for campaign medium, I could put in here what specific ad it was. So if I was running it to like one of my specific products, so let's call it my ebook product ad, then I could write that in there. If it was one of my paid programs, I could put program ad. So you want to give it kind of an identifier so that you know it came from Facebook. Now you want to know what specific ad or campaign it came from. So if you're running multiple Facebook ads, then that's where you would use there. All right, and then last here, campaign name. So we'll call this like Facebook ad campaign. All right, so once you enter in those four boxes, what we're gonna do next is scroll down to the very bottom and it's gonna spit out the link that it custom built for us. And all we're gonna do is copy paste that link and take it over to wherever we're inserting the link. So if we're inserting it into an email or if you're inserting it into like a Facebook ad, that's where you would copy paste that link. All right, so as we scroll down here, we can see that it generated this URL right here. So this is the one that you can click the copy URL button here and it will have it copied and ready to go. All right, so the last step is jumping into Google Analytics. So let's go ahead and dive into Google and I'll show you where to go to track the clicks on your link you just created. So to get to Google Analytics, you'll just type in Google Analytics into Google. It'll pull up the website you'll sign in. You should already have an account, but if you don't, it's free to create one. And there's a whole other tutorial on my channel of how to link your website to Google Analytics that you can check out. Once your account is linked, you'll be able to come in here and look at all your different data. So coming down this left-hand side, this is our menu bar here. So we wanna go under the acquisition tab as this is gonna tell us where people came from. And under acquisition, you'll see this one called all traffic. It's the very first one. You've got an overview, which kind of just gives you general overview of all the different sources. So social media, uh, search engines, 
paid advertising, but we want to get more specific. So we go under all traffic, click the little drop down, and you'll see sources slash medium. So when you click on sources slash medium, it's going to pull open this page showing me my traffic today. So right here, all the different sources. I've got 66 different sources. It's only showing the top 10 right now, which are pretty much the most relevant anyways, because most of my traffic only comes from a few main sources. So under here, we've got Pinterest. This is traffic I'm driving from a social media site like Pinterest. Google Direct, if they click a direct link from somewhere. And then you can see here ConvertKit email, Facebook ad, 70 ad, Facebook ad, 15 drills. So these are the custom URL links that I set up. So I'm running an ad to my store. I'm running an ad to an opt-in page trying to get conversions of people signing up for my email list. So I had to set up that custom link that I just showed you. And now it tells me in here what it is. So again, when we come back here into the link builder, I would have typed in, you know, Facebook, and then I would type in the campaign medium. So here you can see Facebook would be where I typed that in. And then the campaign medium Well, I wrote 70 ad. That's what I called it for the medium. And so that tells me that it came from Facebook and it tells me which ad. So here again, I wrote Facebook ad. If I had two different ads, and then the medium, this was the 70 ad, this was the 15 drill ad. That way I can keep it separate for my own personal reference if I'm running multiple ads. If you're doing ConvertKit emails, again, I could set up a special like email link for every individual email, but I just did a general one. So we can come here and click on ConvertKit email and it might actually break it down for us. But no, it doesn't break it down for us, but that's because I just did one general um, you know, for source and campaign. I just put ConvertKit here and I put email marketing or email here instead of going in and writing like email one, email two, email three, you know, I could have broke it down. Uh, but then, you know, I'd have in my Google analytics here, if we go back, it would, it would have kind of like it did here for the Facebook ad. So how it broke down two different ads, well, it would have like a long list of all these different emails. So it'd say email one, email two, email three. And you might've done that if I open this up here to look at my top 100 sources. I don't remember if that's how I set it up or not. No, it doesn't look like that's how I set it up. But otherwise, you'd see this big long list of all the different convert kit emails that people were clicking on, they would be their own individual traffic source. So instead of having like 66 traffic sources, I would have like 100 traffic sources if I did like 40 different emails, you know, that were separately tracked, but I kind of just bundled them all together under one. So it kind of totals it up here. So 237 people, for example, have come from my convert kit email list. Uh, and then, you know, different ads I broke up into their own individual links to track those separately. So that's pretty much it for this Google URL builder tutorial. I showed you how to go into the URL builder, enter in the different information so that it can give different titles and descriptions, and then you can track it in your Google analytics. The two work hand in hand, they go together. So you have to use them both together. Uh, but I also use this URL builder and I have another analytics tracker called Clicky. So when I go into Clicky and look at my different content, where people are coming from, it also works in there as well. I can click on the traffic source and it'll show me that my Google URL builder is working. It'll show me that name, you know, all that information, the campaign source, the medium that I typed in, it'll show that. So I know what specific email they came from, what specific Facebook ad they came from, etc. So. That wraps this up. Wanted to keep it pretty brief. It's pretty simple. Use those two tools and you can start tracking different links so that you can see where people are coming from, who's buying your products, you know, what's working and you can make better business decisions for your website and your e-commerce store. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And if you want to leave a comment of another video you'd like made or any thoughts about this video, you know, I'd appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video lesson. And as always, if you want to learn more about how to start a profitable blog that makes money, you want to learn more about marketing, social media, you can check out some of my courses in the first link in the description below. Take care.